There we go. Okay, let's just take off. She's going straight out this time. You ready? Yep. We're at half flaps. I think that's going to help. And we're up. Nice. We'll do a roll. We'll do a nice loop. This big, it likes to do a wide loop. I could go tighter, but if you go tighter, it just torques a little bit. And take two approaches if you need it. Yeah, please. I, I will. I will. <laughs> so that's one. Yeah, we got this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That, that was, was cool. Silky smooth. Well, here we are with a little extension to Boat Week. Boat Week was a blast. We had a really good time. And what better way to maybe officially end it, finally, right? We've had a couple extensions now with the Twin Otter with floats. I am so excited because it has been like five or six years since I've flown a plane off water. If you guys are just veterans of the channel, you'll remember that the first plane and only plane we've flown off the water was a Beaver. And it was the, the, the floats and the struts holding the floats on were very chintzy. After a couple flights, they kind of got pretty weak and I hadn't flown off water since that video. So I'm really pumped. It's a fairly calm day here at the lake. This should be perfect access off of the sandy beach here and I'm just really hoping for success. This airplane is extremely robust. The, uh, I had the wheels on first and Abby and I have both flown it for you guys on the channel. Now we're here to fly off water, at least I am. Maybe Abby will warm up to it someday. <laughs> but putting this together, uh, after I finally got it all snapped together, it's extremely strong. I don't foresee anything coming apart like it did on that uh, Beaver airplane that we flew off water. So also bear in mind, I, I'm not experienced at putting this together, so I took my time, but it took me about 40 minutes or so to take my landing gear off and put these floats on. So set that time aside if you're like me and don't do this very often. And before I fly, I'll mention that one of our viewers said in the last time, I think Abby flew the Twin Otter, uh, he said, I own two Twin Otters, one that I keep the wheels on and one that I keep the floats on. And I can honestly see why a person would want to do that. I would not want to switch the wheels and pontoons all the time or the floats. So, um, well, maybe Christmas will bring a second Twin Otter my way. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I do love this plane, you though. You just make this your water plane. I think so. I have a ton of uh, planes with wheels on them. Maybe this will be the official water plane. Let's hope that it goes well. I'm so excited. You'd think with all the things that we fly, flying off water would have happened way sooner than now, but it hasn't. And a, a last thing to point out, this actually has a steerable rudder That's in the back. So, so cool. we have our rudder on the plane. We, has, we also have a little bit of differential thrust and a rudder in the water. So hopefully taxiing this on water will be very easy. I'm excited, let's fly. It does float. <laughs> it floats. It floats. Step That's one. Step, that is step one. Our rudder actually steers, and it looks like this is steering on the water pretty nicely. Suddenly, the lake feels much smaller. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pack Probably all the buoys second. that you might hit. I am going to have to steer clear of those. That means taking off and landing out past those. Of course, safe is going to be on. And that's another thing. When I flew my first airplane off of water, I did not have safe technology then. So we're going to get out here past. You know what? I don't think I need to do that. I want to take off a bit closer so everyone can see it. Differential thrust plus that rudder in the water means that this steers on the water extremely well. Give me a second, Nate. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. I want to get inside these little buoy things. And you ready? Yep. Oh, I whipped it to the left there Nathan. just to be on the safe side, Whew. but it got in the that air. That's scary. And once it sheds that water off of the pontoons, it uh, flies just like normal. So it feels a little bit weighted down as you're taking off out of the water. And and then once the water drips off, hey, it's flying great. Let's not how quiet that is. I'll bet this is the first time I'd say every single person that is here at this lake today has ever seen <laughs> a RC plane fly here. All right, you either got to pick up above, above or yeah, below. Okay. Well, I was just trying to get a feel for it. We'll keep it up above for now. So Abby's talking about the tree line. We're going to keep it up above. We've got a sh pretty strong wind coming in this way now, so I can get some nice slow passes this way. I'm flying at about half throttle. 
I can bring it a little farther out and we'll keep it above that tree line, Abby. Here we go. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to have to try a loop and a roll, but I just got to get familiar with my surroundings here. I'm going to try to kick safe off on this pass and see if it's flying okay. It is. I want to go for a roll. You ready? Yep. It can be done. Nice. <laughs> That's That might be one of my first rolls. Does ever. it feel like it's heavier in it the does, air? It does, yeah. It definitely feels like the... Um, the pontoons have it kind of weighing weighing it down, like uh, like it's got a pendulum swinging off the bottom of it. That's what it feels like. We're going to do a loop on this pass. You ready for this mm -hmm. one? Safe is back off, throttle up, pull back on that. Oh, it's a little crooked, and we're just going to hit safe. <laughs> I think I got a weird little pocket of air up there that just kicked it off in the different direction. And I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm pretty nervous flying. I'm going to drop down below the tree line here. Look at that. I love those props on this thing. <laughs> now, we've, we've got people at the lake. What I have to be very cautious of is not flying too far out where the dock is over there. With You know, don't want to um, barnstorm the fishermen on their boats. And then we also don't want to get the kiddos playing at the beach. So you guys, no matter where you're flying, you got to be cautious and you never want to get close to people. They don't know how skilled a pilot you are. And also, you know, especially when you're flying something with a modification like this on it you just want to keep yourself far away from people so fly safely I always try to encourage flying as safe as possible but I can hear the people across the lake yelling how awesome this is <laughs> <laughs> everybody likes I heard them stuff. yelling yeah. but I couldn't hear what they said it's just quiet though listen see that's what people are always impressed by is how quiet this is doesn't that just look so awesome I want -hmm. to keep it below the tree line a little more flying out over the dam. It looks like we're way across the lake, but we're probably just barely at the halfway point. I love the lights too. I can see the lights nicely. I like to use a little bit of rudder input. And notice I've only done left-hand turns this whole time. <laughs> Staying in my comfort zone. This is awesome though. So I'm surprised at how easy a takeoff that was. However, the water held it down longer than expected. I was hoping to get in the air sooner. Need a little bit more speed to lift up off of the water for the success of a, of a nice takeoff. Landing means I'm gonna to try to slow it down as much as possible before coming down um, to the water. So let's do one more roll. I'm gonna throttle up, roll it, loop it. Much cleaner loop that time. <laughs> And I want to try going half. You know what? We should do a nice full throttle pass. I want to come in down off that tree line from right to left with full throttle. <laughs> People just having fun at the lake. Okay, here we go. We're going to nose down and throttle up. Remember, this is a 3S airplane. 3S only. And I am flying on my Spectrum Smart batteries, which I love. We're gonna do a nice full throttle pass this way too. Nervous Nate flying his airplane of the lake. <laughs> okay, up above the tree line. There we go. We'll ride the tree line. That reminds <laughs> me of Line Rider. You remember that game? No idea what you're talking no. about. Does anybody remember Line Rider? That's probably like a 10 year old computer game. You drew a little. Uh, line for a sledding stick figure. Is so that fun. five minutes? Yeah, that's our five minute timer with those pontoons on there. Um, I'm going to land. That may have been a less efficient flight. So let's go half flaps. I don't love full flaps on this airplane. I'm at half now. I have a lot of extra climb with that. And the wind is coming in kind of funny, so. And take two approaches if you need it, yeah, please. Yeah, I, I will, I will. <laughs> so that's one. Yeah, we got this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That, that was, was cool. Just silky smooth. That was so cool. Swap out the battery and have more fun. Hopefully this will be a little a little bit more confident of a takeoff. Even with that rudder, because of the wind, the wind is coming in right to the nose right now. I'm finding it very difficult to turn this around and <laughs> get it back to me. I told you we should have got the kayak. I am full left rudder. Hmm, there's full right rudder. Come on. Fight the wind, baby. Fight the wind. <laughs> oh, that's a strong breeze coming in now. So what I might do 
is just sit here at zero throttle and see if it'll push me back a little bit. Got it. Took yeah, like two I just, minutes. I throttled through. I just <laughs> throttled through it. Decided to. It started to, to slowly rotate. And the wind died down, so that's helping a lot. I'm using ailerons to help turn too. I don't know if it's actually helping, but. There we go. Look at those lights too. Oh, it looks great. This is just an awesome plane. There we go. Nicely done. Battery number two. Should have wore sandals. It will help, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's just take off just going straight out this time. You ready? Yep. We're at half flaps. I think that's going to help. And we're up. Nice. So much better a takeoff. We'll put those flaps up and just enjoy our flight. Shed the water off and have fun. Now I know it can come back in one piece. <laughs> so I can ease off a little bit more on the stress and just enjoy the flight. It looks good. I think if you imagine a pontoon type of plane, this is exactly what you picture in your head, or at least I do. I love the twin otters. It just reminds me of something you'd see on TV. Super scale, what a pretty place to fly. Just doesn't it seem like you're watching something out of like uh, the Discovery Channel in Alaska or something? It's very cool. Very awesome. <laughs> I think everybody at the lake is enjoying watching it fly too. I like seeing the reflection when I get down low to the water. I saw it just a couple times. And you know, for me, the contrast of that tree line back there is actually really cool. Let's do a full throttle pass, Abby. Here we go. Okay. Keep it high, a little farther please. out. We'll come in this way too. There's full throttle. Just a good looking airplane. I like that they even put some striping on the side of the water pontoons or the floats. What do you guys call them? Pontoons or floats? Some people, uh, yeah, I've, heard them, I've heard it go both ways, but there are some very good looking stickers on the outside of the floats that match the plane really well. If not for those stickers, I'm not sure I would have put them on the right way. Nice sharp turn. I caught you off guard, didn't I? Mm-hmm. They're starting to do some right hand turns now. That, that shows <laughs> confidence when you get the right hand turns. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Getting fancy. <laughs> okay, let's do another loop and another roll. I loved landing this. It came in so smooth. All right, so we'll turn safe off. We'll do a roll. We'll do a nice loop. Nice and big. It likes to do a wide loop. I could go tighter, but if you go tighter, it just torques a little bit, so I want to hang a nice wide left turn and come in low. Really low throttle, very low. I want to keep it below the tree line now, Abby. Throttle up to get through that. Tell you what, if I was out fishing today, I would not be looking for the fish. I'd be watching the plane fly. <laughs> not just me, though. <laughs> I just like hearing people be happy. <laughs> what do you think? Is, is this something you think you would try to do someday? Uh, Maybe if zero people were here or something? And like no boats in the way yeah. <laughs> and no buoys in the way. Yeah, the buoys kind of have me a little bit concerned. We'll have to uh, keep looking for, for a good flying spot. Locations yeah. And stuff. yeah. Also, today's just kind of. I do want to try it though, because like that landing it was, awesome, was really huh? cool. I wonder if we need flaps. I'd say we do. It was like the coolest landing ever. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a splash. It was just a skim, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like a boogie board riding the wave. It was, I don't know. It was cool. Well, let's let's practice another one. Let's do half flaps. See that? See the rise mm -hmm. when I just turn those flaps on? I want to try to touch down a little farther to the left. You get, can you I guys can. see the color that's starting to come into the uh, trees? Here we go. Approach Please. for my landing. It slows down nicely at half flaps. Oh, there's a bounce. I did it. Oh, I look how it. cool that looks though. Yeah. I liked the bounce. So now I'm going to just continue left here. If I can. <laughs> if I can. Wait, wait, we have, we have people to the right. Yeah, more throttle helps. Okay, just, <laughs> just, just go little, back in the air. <laughs> just a little bit of uh, advice there to myself. 
He couldn't do that. Office. He couldn't do a right hand turn right there because there was someone there. Yeah. That's why. We're gonna practice another little, another little landing because that that is my favorite part of flying <laughs> this right now. That's what's different about it. Here we go. He's like ten feet Getting behind close? you. Okay. Yeah. I think he wants to get the plane. I would too if I was yeah. him. He's okay, pretty excited flow. about it. He's having a good time watching and... me. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Hey, I love when people take a um, a liking to the hobby. Sometimes this is all it takes. There's a little kiddo playing and yeah. watching, and he might super get. So into he's the hobby. right out in the middle of the lake. Okay, I'll be very careful. On my and like landing. five foot behind you. Okay. So See, I went nice land. It's nice to have a spotter when you're flying at a new location. And stuff. <laughs> There, you got a glimpse of him. Awesome. You might want to come in toward us. Okay, I'll do my best. And I'm telling you. I can do that. Well, let's see and bring it boat out there right. too. We are running out of landing space, so let's keep it safe, Abby. And I'm going to try to land directly toward us. Watch the buoy. Yep. We'll get it in as close as possible because it doesn't like the taxi this way. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Okay, it's depth okay. perception. There it is. We're in. Oh, wow. Right to our feet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I had about seven seconds left on my five minute timer, so we brought it in just in time. And, and this was just a treat for me. I, I, I'm i really happy we came out to do this. I, I wasn't sure how it would go. It's just been so long since I've flown off of water. I really didn't have anything to base it off of, but I couldn't have asked for a better plane to do this with. Extremely solid and sturdy. Those landings, you guys saw them. Even if I came in a little hot, it skipped across the water like a little skipping stone. But more often than not, I had a nice, smooth, silky landing. That water seems to be a bit more forgiving than asphalt. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Other than having a little bit of water splashed up on my foam plane, where I might need a paper towel to dry it off before I put it away in storage, this was just so much fun. The best part about this is it comes with the floats. So if you've got your eye on this plane and you're kind of like me, you're confident flying off of grass or asphalt, you can do that. Then you build your confidence up enough uh, as far as the flight characteristics of the plane go. You can take this to water, put your floats on, and enjoy flying off water. This is now officially my number one favorite water airplane. Well, <laughs> it's my only one. But well, no, I can, it's not. You have your beaver. I still have the beaver, but I would not. It's sat on your desk for years. Yes, but I wouldn't fly it. No. Okay, so this is definitely my number one favorite. To fly. To, to fly. And, and on 3S batteries, too. Such oh. a well-rounded, robust airplane to fly on 3S batteries. I will link those batteries in the description box below. And before we go, I want to say that I wouldn't even think of flying this at this location or anywhere for that matter without my AMA insurance. Anytime you're putting anything in the air, and as a matter of fact, now they do this for RC boats and ground vehicles as well, uh, AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, offers insurance for the hobbyist, and I highly, highly recommend that before you guys even consider putting something in the air especially, you consider signing up if you're not already. We'll have information for them linked in the description box below. Just a quick shout out as a constant reminder to fly as safely as possible. I talked about flying safe a lot in this video and that kind of thing is always on my mind because of AMA there being there as a constant reminder for me. I get my monthly magazines. There's a lot of good reads in there, but it's a constant reminder for me to just fly as safe as possible. Just represent the hobby as good as you can, and then you have everyone at the beach today uh, enjoys the hobby rather than disliking the hobby. Fly respectfully of other people. Well, if you're in love with this just like me, we'll have it linked in the description box below, and I just had such a good time today flying. For that, I thank God, just giving us this beautiful day to fly and share this day with you guys. I also wanna say a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters because we could not do our channel without you guys getting the content out as often as we did. I dedicate the entire boat week, and now ending on this as a bonus to our Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. Is that your favorite boat now, Nate? <laughs> This is my favorite boat, absolutely, 100%, 100%. This is a major throwback, but Abby, I think we have no choice but to link our six-year-old video of me flying that Do beaver it. off of, and I think we were possibly flying no. off of the dam over there. I thought it was No, there. you're right, it was Vesuvius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, similar, similar flying location though. Well, that video is popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.